Charles Osborne Ochero and I'm a student at Kenya Water Institute and I'm under, a student under the scholarship of Didipuri. Yeah, it is actually only one year that I've been in school, that is to say two semesters, but uh, I have gained a lot of uh, knowledge and uh, both actually theoretical and practical because after every two semesters we go for industrial attachment where I gained knowledge of repairing burst pipes, uh, broken pipes, water treatment, even repairing pumps, servicing uh, the water treatment plants, the tanks, and the wastewater as well. I've gained a lot. During semester breaks, I come and apply the theory that I was taught at school into practical, most especially repairing bus pipes, which are most especially along the hospital there. I've repaired some recently, most especially the, the, the pipes which are exposed on the ground. And nowadays we are we, we have advised the, the organization concerned that along the exposure they should put the G high pipes in which most of which are connected using the VJ coupling or um, the sockets. Being a former teacher, I actually embark in teaching and encouraging the students, most especially the form four the candidates of class 8 because I was once a deputy head teacher at Barrel Nam Girls Primary School. I have been guiding those girls. I've even been talking to them about the scholarship. So they are actually working very hard. Of late we have produced like two, uh, I mean 20 students, girls only, who have managed to, to, to score 300 and above at Barrel Nam. That is a great achievement. And in Kakuma Refugee Secondary, I have students whom I teach them chemistry, physics and maths. They actually come to my home for consultation. With neighbors right now, they have no problem with the science subjects because some of them come to my home. Some of them come to my home for consultation and I actually teach them. And uh, I even help them out on how to pass, give them the tips on how to pass exams so that after passing, they, they can get the scholarship. Uh, one thing I want to appreciate with the Window Trust is that most of the students whom I taught with my own hands, they have taken them and they have gotten scholarships. Some of them are getting degrees, some of them are getting diploma. I'm so much grateful with the, with the team of Window Trust who are making the selection because I engage the students and I know they are very good students who, who actually needed tertiary education and indeed they have answered my prayers. It's like a dream come true to have students whom you have taught in primary, secondary to go for higher institutions. I'm so grateful for that. Yeah, uh, actually Didipuri has been uh, more than a parent. They have helped us to achieve our dreams and uh, I must appreciate them so much, most especially Vikram. Vikram has been more than a father to us and uh, I would like to appreciate all the workers of uh, Didipuri, most especially Karo. She has been very sharp. When we have a problem, she's there immediately. So we have had no problem with, with her. We have had no problem with Didipuri workers. So the only thing I would like them to do is to increase the number because there is actually need in Kakuma refugee camp so much. Uh, I'm Emi Saima Philip. I'm under the Dipuri scholarship from Kakuma. I apply for the Dipuri scholarship because I want to further my studies and the second thing, I don't have enough money to take myself to school since I'm a refugee. So I see this chance being advertised and I feel that I'm one of them. I tried my level best and I get it. I completed my Form 4 in 2015 and I have stayed in camp for two years. Two years? Uh, in 2017, I get this scholarship, but they tell me that the, the courses will start in January 2018. It will take me time to wait again until 2018, January. That's the time I join my, my school. I have applied for different scholarships five times, but I did not get. I think this was my best chance. I just, I think it was a golden chance from God. Mm, my first day of class, I fear because we learn a lot of mathematics. 
it is not like the one of high school some drawings you see some formulas are changing they add so you fear you see it is something big but after one week three weeks four weeks we are used to it and everything is okay I face uh, some of the challenges here and there uh, understanding the the cause Nani getting fear you think maybe the cause is too too hard and not knowing people you are alone you don't know different people it is very hard to interact but with time everything is okay now mm, i would like to congrat congratulate them so much but also i would like to ask them if they can go into the kakuma and take more students to give more students this chance it is really enjoying and it, it really gives hope apart from being a refugee you still have hope after getting this scholarship you have hope maybe after Sometimes you, you will get, you will finish, you will get work, you will change your life, you will change the life of society, the family, just something like that. I would like to ask them really to support especially girls because I'm the only girl here in this scholarship, in this school. All of them are men. Uh, after finishing this course, me, uh, I plan to build my own project to teach, to, to teach people in camp how to preserve water, the importance of water, what what are the good things water bring to us in life? So, my name is uh, Muhammad Abderisak Muhammad. I'm from Ladab, particularly a refugee camp called Ifo. I'm a second year student uh, doing diploma in auto engineering. We were enrolled here January 2017. From January to April, we have been in class doing lessons and practicals when we do exams we go back to the camps there's what you call a uh, travel documents that are issued by a department of refugee affairs at the government of kenya it expires whenever it expires you have to go to the camp and renew it then uh, for renewal of those things and when the semester ends before the starting of the new semester we go back to home when i live here and i arrive, arrive at home I don't just stay doing nothing. You see, this scholarship is somebody has contributed for the well, welfare and the well-being of someone. Someone has contributed a, your development. Then, as a response of, of that, you must also be useful and as helpful to the community. Uh, now that my, my provision has changed from been teacher to engineer, I also stayed with Care International, which in charge water in the dam. They took me to fields for water treatment, water supply, pipe fitting, piping, and so many things I have assisted. The knowledge I gained from here, I took back to the community. The most thanks goes, goes to Vic, Vikram. And I think if this world, people will, who, who can support others would have been like figure this world would have been a better place for people to live in and there would have been no problem i really thank to him and i will continue thanking to him and i will never ever forget the helpful and assistful hand that he extended to me and to my brothers and sisters who are in the camps whether in kakuma or in the dam uh, i have so many expectations in this one after finishing this course, uh, I want to go further in this field of water engineering. I advance it well, do it better, excel and reach in a position that I can help people. From there, I want to go back to my country where the major problem, one of the major problems that exist in that country is because of water resources. You see, the country have water resources, but the knowledge and the people to make use of those resources properly is not there. And every time you hear their droughts, every time you hear people dying because of dust, every time you hear people dying because of waterborne diseases, and every time you hear rivers dried, there are so many problems in my country which require this course of water engineering.